Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the KB series of my channel. This is where I'll be explaining some basic computer networking terms, the ones that I think are useful to know in order to understand the main videos of this channel better. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about access points. An access point is a network device with one or more antennas. It connects to the wired network through its usually only Ethernet port, and it is capable of broadcasting and providing one or more wireless networks for the wireless devices such as laptops, tablets, and smartphones, so they can also connect to the wired network. So basically, it is a portal for the wireless devices to join the network. There are different types of access points with different wireless technologies. For example, the older ones were usually single band and single radio, which means they only used the 2.4 GHz frequency band for the wireless network. Those access points unfortunately are not very practical today, because the 2.4 GHz band is very crowded and its quality is not very good, especially in the densely populated areas where there are many wireless devices close to each other. The dual band access points are more common and more practical today because they also take advantage of the 5 GHz frequency band which is overall better than the 2.4 GHz band. A dual band access point usually have two radios but there are ones with three or even four radios which in that case the dual band access point can dedicate two radios for the client access and use the other ones for the radio frequency management or even for a backhaul connection should it participate in a mesh network. Now, depending on how big the Wi-Fi coverage area is supposed to be, we can use one or more access points. And because usually the access points do not do any routing or even NAT, we still need to have a router in our network in order to access the internet or even other networks. So, just to sum up, an access point is a network device that makes it possible for the wireless clients to access the wired network. And it does that by broadcasting one or more wireless networks using one or more antennas. But just keep in mind that the access point itself connects to the network using a wired connection and not a wireless connection. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like it if you liked it and subscribe if you like to see more. Thank you again and I will see you soon.